The Workplace Communication in Canada program is one of the bridging programs at the Chang School of Continuing Education and it is offering hybrid courses and fully online courses to help pre-arrivals and newcomers to Canada get the necessary knowledge about the values, the norms of the Canadian working environment and working culture. You'll, you'll do a presentation and all of a sudden there's a thing in a slide that you go, now how did that get there? And how am I going to wrap my mouth around what it says? The course series of the Workplace Communication in Canada program is offered every year and thanks to the Ontario Bridging Participant Assistance Program, eligible students get full reimbursement for the tuition cost and the cost of the textbook. Our students who have been going through the course series all feel surprised how much they felt confident in the way that they can manage the situations in a typical Canadian work environment, the formal and the non-formal type of communication and building relationships within the organization. Initially when I landed in July 2012, I found work relatively quickly after that. By October 2012 I was working, but then in April of 2014, I was uh, laid off due to restructuring exercise at the company. So I started to face numerous challenges, finding additional employment. It took me uh, a number of months and uh, based on research that I did and the information that I gathered from employment agencies, it led me ultimately to this uh, university and ultimately this course. A number of target stores were actually set up in what are referred to as B and C tier uh, malls or the hugest thing there was the target. Today you had the pleasure to see one of our, our instructors and the students who are enrolled in the Effective Persuasion and Public Speaking course. The course deals in general with uh, public speaking and effective persuasion. And um, what learners here take in is the whole skill set around being able to influence any stakeholder in the workplace in an assertive yet collaborative fashion. So this deals with the ability to look at who your audience is, also look at the audience's knowledge level for argument's sake, and then breaking your presentation down in such a way that your audience um, grasps it, that your audience is capable of retaining the information easily. Uh, public speaking in particular, has, has helped me a great deal because I have reasons to speak with clients on a regular basis, both in a meeting setting, uh, do presentations, also on the phone. So speaking, generally, communicating is a big part of uh, what I do. I, as an immigrant to Canada myself, experienced that my greatest challenges were not in terms of the large changes, for instance, that you have to buy a new house and a new car and get a new job. It is in all the unwritten rules that you are never told about and that are not well interpreted for you. Once you start to gather a solid knowledge around soft skills and once you start to master some of these soft skills, you can truly say that you're starting to also master the new culture that you're supposed to be uh, proficient in. It's a great opportunity, as we could hear from some of, of our students, to start that course and to complete the fully online course before coming to Canada. And then if they are in GTA and can attend the blended courses, continue developing those skills, having the opportunity to have the in-class sessions, the networking with uh, fellow students and the support of our instructors. So it's a highly recommended sequence of how can they be engaged with the WCC program before and after coming to Canada and especially in Ontario and the GTA. Some of the changes that I notice in my students that take this course and other similar courses is although they might not be aware of it, very often I give them feedback at the end of the course that I notice their confidence level pick up. What I often say to my students is that, you know, self-awareness is 50% of the solution. 
And through coaching them around self-awareness about certain targets that they can set for themselves and certain new actions that they can take from a soft skills perspective, I see them conquer little gaps and little hurdles in their ability to communicate effectively.